I have discovered a new video out there called Fossils That Debunk Evolution. I haven't seen the video yet, I just saw the title of the video and I thought, hey, I'm going to make a reply video and we will discover it together like a fresh new love, as it were. Get that tingly sensation that I once had when I was young and handsome and uh, not fat or bald. So, without further ado, fossils that debunk evolution. Alright, hello everybody. I'm gonna debunk evolution. That's right, he's going to debunk a observed natural phenomena. Yesterday, of course, he debunked sunlight, and I suppose tomorrow he's going to debunk rain. With one simple fact. One thing. Okay, this is going to blow it all away. Yeah, so as soon as he uploads the video, evolution is going to stop happening. Um, just totally destroy the, of course, the geological column, but uh, I'll just get on with it. So which is it? Debunking the geologic column or debunking evolution? Um... Everybody, a lot of people might have heard of a guy named Michael Cremo. Michael Cremo? You're quoting forbidden archaeology as debunking an observed natural phenomena? Good gods! That's funny! He has presented hundreds of cases with zero evidence of uh, ancient humans like us, anatomically like us. Um, Maybe like you, pal, not like the rest of us. With many fossils, uh, tools they made, pottery, even jewelry, um, <clears throat> and strata that was uh, dated by many geologists. Okay, I'll bite. How about naming some of these, air quotes, Geologist! Actually peer-reviewed in many scientific or the best scientific journals. Uh, no. The World of Knowledge Index lists zero, that is fat zero, peer-reviewed paper by Michael Cremo. 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 Zero! The only time that Michael Cremo is mentioned in any peer-reviewed science journal is when he is being debunked. Not even one peer-reviewed paper in any science journal written by Michael Cremo listed anywhere for the past, pardon me, 132 years. Like Nature, Scientific America, uh, Science, all that. No, no, and no. Note that Michael Cremo has had letters to the editor published in Nature and Scientific America. I cannot find any, any content for science. Letters to the editor are not peer-reviewed papers. Uh, lots of cases uh, where they found, like I said, humans like us and fossils. Um, in two, five million. No and no. 10, 50, 20, uh, 100. No, no, and no. 200, 500 million. Does it sound like anybody else out there that this clown is just pulling numbers out of his anus? Hey, it says 300 billion. <sighs> Up to like even like seven, eight hundred million. That's right, back before food existed. I suppose there might have been a Starbucks. And even some, a couple finds, some finds, uh, like around 2.8 to 3 billion years old. Three billion years ago! Back before there was 
Oxygen! Oh, wait a minute. I feel another number. <sighs> Let's see. Oh, last Tuesday. And that's... I mean, these are these are real respected scientists that made these finds and they published them and whatnot. They're they're well they're known. Which scientist? Give us some names. Where are they being published in peer-reviewed science journals? You haven't told us that either. You haven't even mentioned evolution yet. <sighs> but they kind of kept on the down low, and uh, of course, you know, because it's against evolution. Huh? Even if humans existed three billion years ago, that would say absolutely nothing about evolution. It would not debunk evolution at all. Evolutionary theory would have to be adjusted. Evolution? Still an observed fact. What the fuck? Uh, but they happened, and, uh, I mean... If you don't believe me... That's right! Sane people, like me, don't believe you! You know what it takes for people to accept what you're saying? It's called evidence. All you have done, and I mean all that you have done, is pull numbers out of your ass, make baseless assertions not supported by the evidence that is known are known to be false, mm. and you expect us to believe you? Doesn't work that way. Evidence, bitch! Go look, at, go look into him. He wrote a book. Stephen King wrote a book. Salem's Lot, therefore vampires exist. Yeah, uh, it's not like he's lying. Actually, yes, it is. Because he doesn't just, it wasn't him who made, like, the, he, he wasn't the one who made the discoveries, usually. That's because there were no discoveries. <sighs> he went to see a lot of them, but uh, he got them from other respected geologists, pa you know, paleontologists, archaeologists. Every single one of which said Michael Cremo is full of shit. That dated these, actually dated these sites. What sites? What scientist? <clears throat> so, uh... There's a lot of evidence out there. Where? You know that. That's that's one thing right there that that definitely just destroys evolution. But you haven't even mentioned evolution yet. Ah! And right off the bat, we can talk about other things, but uh, I'll let you think about that. Thought and dismissed. We need evidence. And. Uh, Bye-bye to the geological column, bye-bye to the evolutionary time period, time, time scale. It's, it's just all over it. So what you're saying is, because you're an ignoramus moron who believes anything and everything a Hindu creationist uh, says, an observed natural phenomena is just going to stop happening. Just, it's just gotta, after this, it's just crumbled because Dawkins even said Richard Dawkins in one of his books uh, <clears throat> I think it was the blind mind I think it was in the blind watchmaker the blonde watchmaker he says if we find a mammal skull and 500 million year old strata that evolution would be totally utterly, utterly destroyed no Dr. Dawkins never said that note that if we found mammal bones in the Cambrian or the Precambrian, it would not say anything about evolution except that we got evolutionary theory wrong and evolutionary theory would have to be adjusted. Evolution would still be the observed fact that it is. <sighs> and we found better. We found the best mammal of humans <laughs> in strata older than that even. We? We? Who the bloody hell is we? You and your body lice? Your body thetans? Are you channeling L. Ron Hubbard at the moment? 
who specifically found human bones dated 500 million years ago? Name names. Uh, well, around there. So, thanks, Dawkins. Uh, looks like uh, you know you predicted it or you, whatever. We found uh, what you would say would destroy evolution. So. No, Dr. Dawkins never said that finding a bone, a mammal bone, let alone a human bone, dated 500 million years ago would, quote, destroy evolution. Dr. Dawkins never said that. He did point out that evolutionary theory would have to be modified. So, how about you step forward and actually produce evidence that such a fossil exist bye bye evolution so evolution just now suddenly stopped we don't need condoms anymore we don't need birth control pills anymore nobody's going to die the the genome of every single species on the planet is just going to stay the way it is no more dying no more babies, no more seeds germinating and growing up into other plants. Evolution has stopped because this guy uploaded a video. <sighs> Not even Superman can do that. You know the god that uh, this Cremo clown believes in? The god that this guy worships? The god, the god that this guy thinks really, really exist? I'll show him to you. And this is the god that Michael Cremo claims he believes exists. That's right, good old dick face Hindu god. And we're supposed to believe this clown and what he's written in his book. Um, I will pass, thank you.